Do you want to make more money when you go to sell your house? Of course you do. Everybody does. Let's go find out how you can do that. Welcome back everybody. Donovan Todd, your local realtor choice here in Orlando. And today I got a great video because why leave money on the table if you don't have to? Let's take your house and make it stand out. So that is what we're talking about today is the things that you can do with your house that makes it stand out and brings more money into your pocket. Are you interested? Good. Because there's a few things that you can do without spending a ton of money and going hiring a contractor, not busting any walls down, anything like that. These are some things you can do by yourself or with some friends over a weekend or two that's going to make the most equity out of your house. Okay, coming in at number one for me has to be a fresh coat of paint. Think about it. If you were to go buy a new house and you walked in to the house that you were looking at and they had some crazy dark colors in there or the paint's really old, your first thought is, man, I'm going to have to repaint this thing. So when you go to sell your house, the future purchaser of your home is going to come in and see the same thing and say, I really don't want to do this much work. Let's go see other options. And that leaves money on the table. So let's talk about this. If you paint your house with a new fresh coat of paint in a neutral color, white to maybe some light grays, beiges, something like that, it's gonna attract more buyers because that's less that they have to do and more turnkey. Turnkey is what everybody's looking for because they wanna do as little as much work as they possibly can. And they wanna be able to visualize their furniture and them living in that house. And the, the more steps that they have to do to the house to get it up to where they need to be for that turnkey, the less they're gonna want your house and go look elsewhere. Like I said, neutral colors can go a long way. And a fresh coat of paint will make your house brighter, more airy, and it will attract more buyers. Okay, so the next thing is so important. And that's curb appeal. Would you believe me if I told you the person who's gonna buy a house decides if they wanna purchase it within the first 15 to 30 seconds after they pull up and get out of their car? Having that curb appeal attracts that person to wanting to walk into their house and see more. If you pull up to a house and it's mismanaged, the grass is really tall, the shutters are falling off, the paint's chipping or the brick is really dirty, whatever siding that you have is just, it, the house doesn't seem like it's taken care of. That's going to deter a lot of people from walking into their front door and telling a realtor, let's go down the street to that other property you had lined up without even walking in and seeing the rest of the house. So taking care of your curb appeal really sells your house because it takes the person from pulling up deciding I want to see more about this house what I would do and what we did when we went to go sell our house is I would cut the grass trim the edges clean up all the weeds I like when there's new mulch in the flower beds I think that looks really good and I power washed all the walkways driveway and exterior of the house so yard maintenance is a huge thing that you have to do to sell your home because, again, it makes the house stand out. Okay, so this next thing is almost a no-brainer, but clean your home before you put it on the market, especially before the photos, any viewings, and open houses. You wouldn't be surprised how many houses I've gone into, and they're actually a mess. There's personal items on the countertops that have your personal information on them. Think the kitchen's dirty, the whole house is a mess, there's laundry everywhere. Please clean your home because if somebody walks into your house and sees that it's dirty, you haven't cleaned in a while, there's crumbs everywhere, whatever it may be, they're gonna say, they didn't take care of this home 
So what else could be wrong? Clean your house. It's very simple. What I did when we went to go sell our house is I hired a professional cleaning crew, come in, do a deep clean, and then I just kept it that way for as long as I, until the house sold. It's, it's pretty simple. Once you've done one big clean and put everything away, have somebody professionally clean it, and that $200 goes so far into selling your house, to me, that is worth the money. Okay, another tip for you, please replace any bulbs that need to be replacing. Yeah, I couldn't tell you how many times I've walked into a house showing it, you go to flip on that switch and the light doesn't turn on and it can't show how beautiful that space is and the customer just says, what's going on here? And you have to get out your flashlight on your phone and it doesn't do the justice that it deserves. So replace your light bulbs because you don't know how much that makes a difference when the lights don't work. Okay, so my last tip for you guys is to clean your windows. Get some Windex, maybe some paper towels, go to town on those windows and clean them up because we don't want smudges affecting a view or bringing natural light to that area. What I went out and did is I hired a professional window cleaning company to clean, clean my windows because I had a second story home that I would have to go out and get a ladder that I didn't have and it would just been way too much time for me. So I went out, paid a company to clean my windows. It looked great. And all you have to do is, like I said before, is just to upkeep it. Now, let me paint you a scenario. Somebody walks in and you have this crazy backyard or a beautiful view and they walk up to the window and they see smudges or something's wrong with the window and it's dirty. And it takes them away from that experience of seeing your backyard or a sunset and they, it detaches them from your house. It's very small, but it goes a long way. So clean your windows. All right, guys, those are some tips for you to help you make more money on your house when you go to sell it. That's what we all want. We don't want to leave money on the table with things that we can do that are really simple. You can do all those things, and like I said, in a couple weekends with a few friends or by yourself, and you can make more equity into your home. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Again, my name is Donovan Todd. I'm your local real estate agent here in the Central Florida area. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out. All my contact information will be in the description below. I would love to be your real estate agent of choice if you're moving from out of state or just down the street. So reach out and I'll love to help you out. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day.